Good morning guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and uh, today I've got another car boot sale haul for you. Basically, um, as I've said on many videos before, I got car boot sales, buy some antiques, collectibles, vintage and sell them for a profit, but you get to see what I've bought. Now I've got a nice selection again today, bit of a run of the mill and one or two really nice quality pieces as per usual. Now start off with some run of the mill. We've got some Port Myrian Botanical Garden Pattern Ceramics. Now these cost me £15 for three, so if you like, five or a piece. They're not the easiest thing in the world to sell anymore, but there are still collectors of it. I had to be careful there, I'm forever dropping the bloody stuff. So I think it's done by Susan Ellis. It doesn't say on there, but I'm sure it's Susan Ellis Williams, is it? Or someone along that line still in the Botanic Garden? Does it say on this one? Uh, it doesn't say. And uh, we have the uh, Pop Marion oven dish. So, oh, I fell over out there. For £15, to be honest with you, they're probably going to be close to that each. So that's absolutely fine, to be totally honest. I'm happy enough with that. Um, the Botanic Garden stuff, as I say, it's not the most commercial in the world now or collectible, but it does still sell. And I had to have uh, some bits in on that day, so they were it. Uh, <laughs> I had this piece in last week. Oh, now, the weekend has just been cancelled the week before and um, we have a croquet set there's nothing spectacular guys it's not exactly a uh, you know an old set or anything but it cost me two pound so it's got instructions in there it's got all these clubs mallets whatever you want to call them the balls for two quid I wasn't going to leave it there. In fact, I can even tell you the gentleman I had this off. I had this the week I had the Japan uh, uh, Japan alarm clock and the uh, 1941 walking cane. So, £2. It was off there. The same gentleman I had that. Um, I see that about £10 or £15. It's not worth a fortune, but it's something different to have in the shop. And if someone wants to come in and buy it and have it for the kids to play, for tenner and get five to one on my money and it's something interesting in the shop. Next piece is a car enameled badge. So it's chrome and enamel but it has lost a bit of the enamel. Um, it is Saint Christopher Travellers Patron Saint. As you can see it's lost a bit of enamel though but it was three quid. To be honest with you, this bit by year is probably worth the three quid I paid because most of the time you just find just the badge. But um, again, it's not going to be fortunes, it's not a brilliant item. If it was in lovely condition, then yes, it'd probably be 20 or 30 quid. But in this condition, I'd probably get a 10 or 3 or even 8 quid. Um, but I still weren't going to leave it behind, it's still something different to have in the shop and quirky. My star lots for today is a group of three items. I'll show you the first. You have this beautiful hobnail cut sterling silver. I think it's an inkwell. So I'm pretty confident that's an ink bottle. Beautiful condition on it. Star star pontal to the base. Really, really nice. So I had that one. It's beautiful little, I don't know, uh, powder pot if you like. Fully hallmarked again. So they're all solid silver. Beautiful cut crystal. I haven't even so much as looked at the hallmark or the maker's mark yet. They've been put in the bag, waiting to be filmed for about four or five weeks, these have. Uh, they're all going to be mid-century, give or take, maybe 1920s to 1950s. Looking at that one, it's 30s. Um, but I'll, uh, 
I'll check the dates and make us out in a bit. And then we had this beautiful little uh, hobnail cut box again. Really nice quality pieces. Now, they didn't come in for nothing. I paid £25 for the three. Um, but they are really, really nice quality. Beautiful, in fact. Uh, they're all going to be eBay items, I think. Don't, I'm doubting very much if I'm going to put them in the shop. Um, the ink bottle is going to be about 35 The small box, 30 35 The larger one, maybe 45 So there's a good return there for my money. This one, I'm not 100% what it is. It's a miniature lamp. Not sure if it's uh, an early miner's lamp. Um, I'm going to have to check it. But it's a working lamp. It's got the wick and everything in there and the res. Um, it's a very small one, about 6 inches. The downside with it is, somebody drilled the bottom and the side. So as far as I'm concerned, for the purist, they've destroyed it. It came in for a pound. But I'm absolutely devastated that they drilled it. Now, value-wise, I don't know because I haven't done the research on it yet to see what type of lamp it is. Normally, if it's a miner's lamp, miniature miner's lamps can be up under a pound plus. And I'm, I'm looking at it and I am thinking it's an early miner's lamp and a miniature one at that. So to be totally honest with you, it could be good money. <coughs> if I do manage to figure out exactly what lamp this is over the next day or so before the film goes out, um, I'll put it into the comments or into the description actually. I'll put in the description what it is uh, once I have a look into it. But I'm devastated they drilled it. What purpose because you are could you have for drilling it other than want it to turn electric, but you can't even get a bulb in there. Come on. A oh, beautiful miniature lamp like that and they destroy it by drilling it. And it's got good edge too, it's all lacquered brass, it's a nice item. So that's a potential winner even in that condition. So my final lot for today guys cost me fifteen pounds. And it's that. It's one brass miner. There's another brass miner. I do have all the shovels and picks and things to go with them. There's a couple of the shovels. Here's another miner. <coughs> that one's got something on it. I can't read it. It's a nice early one, that one actually. We have another brass miner. Oh, and another one. <laughs> Collection's building up. Then you can't guess what's next. Well, I don't think that's a minor, but we could be wrong. We'll have a look at that one later. We got another minor, and another minor, and another one of these ones. That's two. I think they're identical. Different colours, though. One's white metal, one's yellow metal. Yeah, interesting. Are you made of silver? After looking at that one, that one could be silver. Hmm. Then we got a load more of the um, shovels. On this final one, you have a miner pushing a cart. And I'm not sure if it's some sort of coppery bronze. I don't think it's proper bronze, I think it might be a copper, but either way, it's uh, brown metal. And if you look on the edges, you can see where it's been scratched. It is showing a coppery brown colour. So we're not talking coated 
spelter or anything. We're talking maybe a bronze. Um, but either way, I had the entire group for fifteen pounds. Collectively, it's probably going to return me. For £100. These heavy cast brass miners and things, I sell them all the time. Tenner here, £12 there. The large ones, £15. And they do sell. I have quite a lot of tourists pass here that come into the area and they always want a little bit of Wales to take home and they buy a lot of the miners. So I always do the miners, the brass miners, the, whether they're the big figures, the little figures, the figures with the coal in, it doesn't matter. I buy them all. Um, the question mark for today for me is this the silver I know the value on thereabouts the Port Marion it is okay this is the uh, potential winner it could be a tenner it could be a hundred uh, that's the one that's interesting me but all in all I think you'll agree it's another decent haul uh, now bear in mind these pieces have been picked over a few different weeks now because this lot is out the back room uh, waiting to be filmed and I'm just picking up half a dozen six or seven pieces uh, out of the boxes that I'm putting in the films so to buy this lot probably took me two weeks up in Gethlige amongst other things that probably got filmed because uh, what you got to realize is I go to Gethlige I might buy 20 pieces 25 pieces whatever it is I only film six or seven per video so the rest then you put in a box to be filmed another day and I've built a large collection up here waiting to be filmed so I got enough stuff here to film we got rain for the next 10 days as far as I know but I've got enough stuff here to make a film every day showing pieces I've picked up over the last month or two so all in all I'm really pleased there's some nice interesting stock a couple of bits for eBay as well so happy days guys i'm gonna leave it there if any of you got more experience with this i'd love uh, to have a little heads up and i would appreciate it i don't know i'll do my research anyway um uh, if there's a piece here you like the silver maybe and the cut glass or you know maybe you collect the uh, car badges let me know let me know what you think of the whole guys Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed having a look at the uh, the haul today. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.